All right, you guys, so I went and got these little styrofoam cups because my plants were starting to outgrow their little dome. And I just started kind of sticking some dirt in the cups and putting my little peat moss pods with the seedlings sticking out of it in there and making sure the dirt was nice and cozy around it. I uh, ended up getting this little spray bottle from Lowe's. It was like, I don't know, like six bucks, but I got it so I could use uh, water the plants without accidentally saturating them or making puddles you know I just wanted to spray and keep the soil moist um, keep them growing I'm setting them out in the windows so yeah that's what we got going on here and of course here you can see they got these little tag marker things in there that I just kind of stuck in the cups here and there so I could tell what was what Now we're going to do the same thing with our squash. This time we got a little smarter and we brought them down in front of us so we could, uh, you know, have everything right there in front of us and not have to keep standing up to get it and doing all that crazy stuff. I found that if you only put the dirt up to that first line on the outside of the cup and then stick your thing in and then fill the rest with dirt, it works perfectly. The cups aren't very big. I know the camera makes them look a little bit bigger than they are. But um, yeah, I just fill the dirt up to that first line and then put the pot in and then fill the rest with dirt after the pot is in. Originally, I was just gonna get a Sharpie and write the name of each plant on each little cup, but since I think I'm the only one that's really gonna be handling them, I can tell, so I didn't really need to waste the time doing that. I just tagged one every so often to kind of keep everything with each other. Nope. like to even rip a little piece here and there or around those pods sometimes with certain plants so you can just help the roots get through break through a little bit better I mean the roots will go through just fine but and then once you do that just set them into a windowsill and uh, let them get their sunlight and their warmth so that you'll be all good to plant when they go out Now here we are doing the same thing to the cherry tomatoes. Um, you know, in a couple days when they're bigger, I'll go and thin them out, but right now I've got a few of them growing together in the same cup. I haven't thinned out the seeds. Um, when I planted, I planted two or three seeds in each pod, so. Yeah, so I'll have to thin them out, get the healthiest ones. So that was just a cheap way you could do your um, plants, get them all started inside. I went down to the Lowe's and spent, I don't know, like $19 on the seed starting tray. It comes with the peat moss pellet, pellets and the tray and all that stuff. So uh, I think it even comes with like five marker things so you can mark what it is. But um, yeah, so I went and spent $19 on that and like a dollar twenty something at Family Dollar for all those little styrofoam cups. and like four dollars at Dollar General for that dirt it's not the best dirt but uh you know it was something I can get these seedlings transplanted in something pretty quickly and temporary I've got a lot of good compost and raised bed soil in my garden back there and here in a week or so when uh it starts getting a lot warmer and the frost is not so bad and it's not so cold at night and the plants are bigger and they'll be able to survive somewhat colder temperatures I'll start putting them out there I can't wait to get out there and start planting the corn too um and the beans 
but um, yeah so you guys if you want to go ahead and get your seeds started and if they get too big because you started too early you can always go and get your cups for a dollar basically a dollar thirty cents at the dollar store and go get a dirt from the dollar general for, for like four dollars and you know do your thing and get them ready like I said in a couple like in a week I'll have them out in the garden